Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Leg Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to go ahead and get started with City Shaper and some missions um, just so that you're able to kind of see how this year's missions are going to go so you can figure out the points. Um, don't worry, the points video is going to be coming up soon. I'm still trying to gather all the information, try to wrap my head around everything, and there's a lot of different scenarios this year, so I'm going to have to take a little longer to put that video together, but it's coming soon, okay? So today's video is just gonna be about the crane mission, mission number two, how to get it done and what the points are worth. So if you wanna see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Before I get this video started, I just want to throw the disclaimer out there right now. Because last year I was getting some flack from people about, you know, revealing the missions and how it gets done. Today's video is just going to be on a, about an educator robot doing this. If you haven't seen an educator robot, it's just a basic robot. Um, I'm going to just use that because basically that's all I can get my hands on right now because my students are still using an educator robot. So it's nothing fancy it's nothing complicated and some you know people want to just claim that I am giving away secrets I'm going to try to say this as nice as I can if you don't want to see the video don't watch um, it's just one of those things where I'm trying to show people you know I'm not trying to give away secrets like hey this is something really cool and try to steal people's creativity here I'm just showing you how the mission is, you know, how it can be done simply. Um, it's mostly to encourage, you know, rookie teams to just have them be able to say, you know what, we can do this mission and we don't have to have these complicated giant robots. In fact, this year, they're even trying to give some incentive for those people that don't have giant robots with, you know, a million attachments. You know, they're giving away bonus points if your attachments and equipment can fit inside that small inspection area. So let's go ahead and go to the table so I can show you this mission. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and check out this crane mission here. We're not trying to do anything fancy. We're just trying to get the 20 points for lowering it. So here's what this robot should do. It should go forward. This gate's gonna come down. Go forward underneath this blue lever. And if you lift the blue lever, it's going to basically release the payload to come down. Um, in the program, I basically did this twice just in case it slips out and it didn't release it long enough. We're going to do it again just so the whole payload can come down. Let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so it released it the whole time that time, so that's good. At least we uh, we got it, and then we should head back. I put a little extra time on that just in case it didn't release the whole thing. And we're back in base. So 20 points for basically releasing the payload all the way down. Now we can look at different variations of scoring on this crane mission. Okay, so here's the plan for this crane mission where we're going to get hopefully 35 points. The plan is going to be to swing the crane over here above so that this blue unit's right above the bottom or lower blue unit. Um, and then go ahead and come to this lever here and basically lower it. So we're going to get 20 points for lowering the blue unit and we're going to get an extra 15 for having it being on top of this lower unit. So let's check this out. Okay, here we go. We're gonna swing this thing over. Lower it onto the blue unit. Okay, so that's where we get the points. So we get 20 points for dropping or lowering this top blue unit and then we get the 15 points for having this top unit land on this lower unit. 
All right, guys, so there is the 35 point crane mission. Okay, everybody, so since we have these two blue units already stacked, we might as well go ahead and push them into this blue circle for the extra 15 points. So let's go ahead and watch this. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down these points. We get 20 points for lowering this uh, blue unit from the crane, 15 points for stacking it on top of this blue unit, and then we get an extra 15 for having both of them be inside this blue circle. So that would give us 50 points. Okay guys, so I just decided to start off simple. Um, 20 points, and it's probably one of the easier missions. Um, everything else is going to be a little farther away from base. But it's just one of those things where it can get you started. It can get your team momentum going where you can like, yeah, okay, we can do this. Let's get to something else. So hopefully in the next few weeks, you'll be seeing more and more missions. Definitely stay tuned for the points video that I'm going to be making where it shows you everything so you can kind of get a better idea of what's happening this year with City Shaper, okay? So best of luck as your team gets started and hopefully you're gonna have lots of fun, okay? I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.